Welcome to Pro Stitcher Designer Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. I'd like to show you how to put motif stitches around a design. On the screen, we'll start with opening a new design page. We'll click on the Home tab and then click on the New button from the ribbon. We'll have a new design page load. Next, we want to draw a simple closed shape. Let's select the Tools tab. Then from the Artwork tool, I'm going to click here on the bottom and this menu is going to load. I'm going to choose a triangle. You'll notice that I now have a triangle on my cursor. I'm going to click and drag to create my triangle. Next, I want to select my design using the Select tool. So I'm going to come over to the Quick Access tool and click on this Select tool. My design is now selected. In the bottom Properties box, I'm going to select the Effects tab. I have two options here. I've got outlines or fills. We want to use an outline, so we will select this one in the center that says Motif. Now, you can see that it has automatically assigned a motif stitch to the outside of my design. If I'd like to change that stitch, I come over here to the, the Run Properties tab, make sure that it is activated, and from this line right here where it says Pattern, I can click on this little part here, and from this drop-down menu, I can choose another design to put around it. So I'm going to select this one and click Apply to assign those stitches to it. We've assigned a motif stitch to the outside of the simple closed shape. Let me show you how to change the stitch and also the stitch length. We'll come over here to the top properties box, the run box, and we have two options that we're going to change here. We're going to start by changing the pattern. I'll come over here and click and look at all the different options I have available. I'm going to select the blanket two and click apply and you'll see that it puts that nice stitch around the outside of this simple shape. Next, I want to change the pattern length. So in this box right here, I'll just click and then using my keyboard, I'm going to change it to a five and click apply. I hope you enjoy using motif stitches in some of your quilting patterns.